Last year, I made a video about this camera, the Mamiya 645 AFD, and I explained why it's the perfect medium format film camera for me. Now, at the time, I had just bought it and I didn't have a ton of hands-on experience with it yet. So now, I want to make a little one-year review of the Mamiya and explain why I have loved using it so much over the course of 50 rolls of film throughout 2021. There are a lot of amazing features packed into this camera that I knew when I first bought it, but there's a lot that I've learned in just using it in both professional and personal environments in the past year. It's actually a pretty modern film camera. There is a built-in timer that's great for group photos, like this one of my family from Thanksgiving. There's a double exposure mode, custom function settings, different shooting modes, including a totally user programmable custom setting like a lot of digital cameras have. There's a dark slide detect feature that won't let you fire the shutter while the dark slide is in, which has saved me so much frustration and time and film and money because I've tried to shoot with the dark slide in so many times. There's a prism metering system within the camera that has different modes of metering, which is actually really great and really reliable. And it's allowed me to just not have to worry about always having an external meter on me when I'm shooting with it. The autofocus is amazing also, and it works so well for faster paced work environments like the weddings that I photograph because I can react a little bit more, not entirely the way that I use my R6 because that's insane autofocus, but the fact that it has pretty good autofocus to begin with for a medium format film camera is amazing. I mean, it, it's so cool and it allows me to just react to, to moments happening a little bit more. Um, and it just, makes my workflow a little easier. I'm not second guessing myself that I might have missed focus just a little bit on that photo that I just took or you know whatever it is. It just gives me confidence in the images that I'm taking that at the very least they're going to come back in focus. And it has swappable film backs as well, which allows you again to kind of thrive in faster paced work environments. You're able to swap film backs out and just keep working instead of having to take the time to take the back off unload a roll of film and then reload it with a new roll to then put it back in and keep shooting. And while all of those features are amazing, they wouldn't do me any good if I hated using the camera. Like a camera can have the best specs on paper, but if in practical real world use, it's not fun to use, then you're never gonna benefit from any of those features. And in this case, my favorite part about the Mamiya 645 AFD is the way it feels. It feels familiar. Honestly, when I pick this up, it reminds me of my Canon 5D Mark III. That was the camera that I built my whole professional photography career on when I started five years ago. This camera, it just, it works. It disappears into the background. And that might sound weird, but I actually think that's a sign of a really good tool. It doesn't require me to fuss over it. It doesn't make me second guess myself as I'm using it. It just shows up it works and I can trust it. And that that means a lot to me. That's, that's something I value a lot in whatever tool it is that I'm using to create a photo or video project. It doesn't have that same cool appeal that a Leica M6 or a Mamiya RZ67 would have. But that's okay because at the end of the day, I shoot film because I like the way that the film looks, not because I care about the way I look when I shoot film. Ultimately, this camera just allows me to get the ideas that I have in my head out into the world. And I love it for that. It has honestly kind of re-sparked the joy that I have for photography. Just by using this for, for personal and professional applications, every time I pick it up, I'm just excited to see the film when I develop and scan it. And there, there's something in that process that has made me love photography again. You know, it's, it's really difficult sometimes churning out hundreds of thousands of images every year to feel like it's a, a hobby. Um, but I think this has kind of reignited my love for photography again, which sounds silly to say about a camera, but I, I think it's 
the truth here. I, I really think just the, the art and the process that comes with medium format film, especially, um, it, it has slowed me down. It has changed the way that I see images. And for that and a hundred other reasons, this has just become my, my favorite camera that I've ever used. And um, I'm so grateful for it, for the images that I've been able to make on it. And also for the more, I guess, like philosophical, uh, soul searching uh, kind of questions that it's forced me to ask about photography on the whole. I plan to use this camera a lot more throughout 2022. And if you're interested in seeing any more film work that I have in store for the year, feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter actually, because I share a lot of my film photography there as well. Uh, I want to end this video just by showcasing some of my favorite film images that I took on the Mamiya throughout 2021. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.